All right, time for another Q&A. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? First question is about electric current underground versus the atmosphere. We've got a lot of people asking, hey, can I just dig something and put my electronics underground? Um, the answer is no. That's why we talk about Faraday cages. When it comes to the induced electric current from a solar storm and the damage it can do to electronics, it's not about a direct line of sight from the sky. This is induced current, which means the electric activity way above our heads is actually inducing the current and it's it tends to be strongest in the ground uh, that's where the current actually gets induced which is why you do need some kind of grounded faraday cage in order to get that to work uh, similar question is about the geomagnetic induced currents and implanted devices um, obviously things for your heart if you've got metal pins i've even got a question about uh, some of the copper IUDs that women can have. Um, first, I'm not a doctor. I can't say specifically, but those do seem to be the kinds of things that you would worry about. And if anybody saw the movie The Core, when Earth's magnetic field was failing and people with pacemakers failed, I do know that they did consult doctors. Again, I, this is not my advice, but I do know that the people involved in that movie did consult doctors and doctors have come uh, on, you know, not to a huge degree, and said that that would indeed be the kind of issue that one would have to worry about. Um, I have some metal in my body as well from an injury long ago. Uh, I have a couple of fillings. It's something that is definitely on my mind. Don't have a ton of ideas about how to deal with it yet, but um, the answer is yes. That is the kind of thing that does have to go through the clockwork a little bit. Uh, a question I got was about what planetary changes that we're seeing right now are actually the most telling. And boy, is this a hard one because the way that the planets are reacting to the onsetting galactic current sheet, the fact that even just the fact that the entire solar system is changing right now in ways that are very unexpected is very telling. Um, where do you go from there? Is it Pluto's atmospheric collapse? Is it the storm reversal on Neptune, which to put it into perspective, imagine a hurricane formed off the coast of New York and then ran southward and eastward towards Africa, the kind of thing that's physically impossible at this moment. That's basically what just happened on Neptune. Um, some of the changes on Jupiter are interesting. The Mars seismicity and the Mars temperature changes are interesting. To be honest, within the solar system, the thing that's most telling to me is what's happening in interplanetary space. Um, we're seeing more energetic neutral atoms. We're seeing more interstellar pickup ions, and we're seeing more dust, not only in the interplanetary space, but we're seeing it in the upper levels of the corona of the sun as well. This is one of the key telling signs that we are taking that galactic current sheet and all the material that's coming with it. Um, a close second place also involved with the sun would be the fact that not only does it have more dust uh, in the corona, but we are seeing changes in the coronal magnetic fields, and we are actually seeing a change in the helium production chemistry uh, in, you know, from photosphere to lower chromosphere as well, which is the exact kind of thing we would expect to see. Um, one of the things for those of you who have really taken a deep dive into some of the things we expect on the sun before the micronova, uh, we do expect it to turn a little reddish at some point. And one of the things that would be causing that would be extra dust and extra helium. Uh, so that would, I would have to say, be a close second place. Um, the last thing I want to hit today, a lot of you are mentioning you're having a really hard time convincing others about what's going on. Um, you feel very alone. Some of the people you try to help, even your family, friends, they, they're kind of insensitive about your interest in what's happening to the earth, the sun, the entire solar system. Um, what I can say is this is something that has an answer, but you're probably not going to like it. I'll never forget the first time I heard Billy Yelverton, who ran our plasma lab, say, you know, Ben, Ain't everybody going to make it? And I think I'll probably die with that firmly in my head, just remembering 
how I felt hearing those words. And not everybody's supposed to make it. Not everybody has the eyes to see. And you can go ahead and share some of these videos. You can share the papers. You can do whatever, but you can't make them take it seriously. Yeah, okay, even if they entertain you and they watch the video, you can't make them go and put all the dots together. You can't make them go and read a paper. To be honest, when most of you guys are actually sending papers to other people, I got news for you. Chances are they're not really reading them, or at least not reading them without having an idea in their head, a preconceived notion that they're going to fight you, you know, against with that preconceived notion. And this has been something that I've dealt with a lot. I mean, it's, it's a part of my life too. Um, there have been relationships that have been strained. There have been friends that have been lost over this. And we're coming to a point and if you didn't notice this by how crazy the world is getting already, let me tell you now, where those we choose to surround ourselves with and those we choose to interact with really matters. It mattered before this just because, you know, that can tell us something about ourselves. These are influences in our lives and whether or not we consciously know that these are, this is something that has an effect subconsciously. But this is something that you should be conscious of and you should be okay with. You really should be okay with it because a lot of the stuff that matters now isn't going to matter next year, isn't going to matter in 10 years, isn't going to matter in 20 years. And it's important to start doing some of that work uh, relating to your own personal environment, your interactions and your relationships right now. Speaking of doing the work, it's also important that you start to do some work on yourself. I made a Facebook post a couple of days ago, and I was astounded at the response. You know, you can have all the food. You can have the perfect location. You can have a bunker. You can have everything prepped out, books, a plan. When something this serious happens, I can promise you this. Every trauma you have from going back to when you were a child is coming back. If you guys haven't read the book, The Body Keeps the Score, it's a real thing. And this can affect judgment, emotion, attitude, actions, thoughts, everything when you get triggered, when those deep-seated insecurities and that deep trauma comes back up. And getting right with yourself, you know, pulling those pulling those deep bullets out and trying to heal those wounds, that's something that is vital. I've known it was vital for a long time. I ignored it for a long time out of pride, ego, arrogance, a whole bunch of other interesting words. I'm not ignoring it anymore. And I really have to beg you guys to do the same if you have any care at all over how this is all going to play out in your world. It's as important as having food. It really is. Um, because without this in order, doesn't matter what else is in order. If this is in disorder, everything will be disordered. Things will fall apart. I can't stress this enough. If you want to say, oh, that's woo-woo stuff, or oh, I'm a tough guy, I'm too big of a man for that. Yeah, I can't wait to see your face when the micronova happens. Because we all have those wounds. And probably one of the reasons you are such a big, tough guy is that you're actually masking something. It's a response. It's a trauma response. It is the countervailing picture that you put forth to actually protect yourself and hide that inner wound. If I'm getting a little bit too out there for some of you, I don't care. This is very real and it's something that everybody needs to address sooner rather than later. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.